back on Need for Speed Heat. That's not really a surprise, I know. But today, it's finally time to carry on with the progression. I know I've completed the main story, but there are still things that we need to do. For example, the off-road events. Now, that's what I particularly want to focus on today. We might even get it all done. I don't know how much there is left to do. But first things first, we need a new car so let's get started with that. And the difference here is normally I would go with like a Ford Raptor or even the brand new Evo, the Focus RS, something off-roady. In fact, the Skyline is very easy to make an off-road car because again, it's an all-wheel drive boy. But today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be picking a super or hyper car and going off-roading with that or at least making an off-road build of one of those vehicles. I actually might. I'm considering making a 918 off-road car. I think that would probably be one of my go-to choices. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. 918 <laughs> for off-roading. That's right, we're going full Forza Horizon in this. This is actually the first time I've driven this in this game. Oh my goodness, a bit of a slip to begin with. But this all-wheel drive boy, she is made to grip. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and make our very first, you know, I'm actually gonna make a middle ground off-road car and i love that the flames come out the top on this it's so freaking cool I, it's such a nice little touch i mean obviously they should come out there because that's where the exhausts are but if it was indeed a mclaren on the other hand flames should be coming from everywhere else <laughs> i'm sorry uh, i love McLaren. i love you mclaren love you love you all right we got the alchemist which is a mega mega wide body which is something i'm probably actually going go with this is actually changing the hood that changes the whole front of the car Oh, no, it's automatically applied the fenders, maybe? No, for some reason, the hood is how you change the body kit. Look how ridiculously wide that is. That is... <laughs> I'm going to go for the twin indented on the hood there from bumper. No, 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 no. And we need a big splitter to top off the... What the hell? Realistic, that splitter is going to get ripped straight off <laughs> when we actually do... This kit is ridiculous. Well, these kits... Did I ever even build this on Need for Speed Payback? I'm not even sure if I did, to be honest with you. I'm very disappointed at myself. Look how wide it is! And, uh, yeah, I might have found an even better one. People are going to scream. I can hear your screams already about... Oh, my God, we can make the... Oh. I'm loving this car. The most important meal of the day <laughs> is the wang. The big meat <laughs> on the back. And it's not wide enough because the, the wide body now sticks out further. This is beautiful. Oh, yes, of course. The, the like a lime green. That actually looks awesome. We can, oh, we can still lower it. And of course, we get to engine swap it as well, which I'm very, very excited to do. So let's jump into the performance customization because this is the important bit. We're making this an off-road build. And I want to, as I said, make it about as middle ground as we possibly can. So speed cross differential. We've actually already got one of those, so it saves us a little bit of money. We've got the gearbox. We've got the clutch. Let's install the clutch. Uh, tires and suspension are the only other bits that we really need to think about. No turbo install, but we can actually install a turbo on a hybrid V8. But I do want to see what else we can throw in. Oh, my God. What is that? A V10? Flat 6. A V8. I've got no money. I've actually run out of money. There's another hybrid V8. So I'm actually going to stick with the engine we have for now. I don't think we need anything more than this. Get out the most pops possible. <laughs> Perfect. That's just ridiculous. How well is this going to go? <laughs> we got an off-road 918. Let's test it off-road. And it's bogging a little bit. Though the races that are off-road, I'll particularly like just drive an off-road like this. Obviously, I probably have to make it more off-road for this case, that I was worried for a second there. But yes, I think, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. I think once we actually get to the actual off-road route, the tracks. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Back to our first mission. Right yeah. Let's go. I'm not exactly sure our cars really go to, our vehicles really go together. Rashini? This thing actually feels huge now because of that wide body. It's kind of ridiculous. It's actually massive. We always set them up like one. Helps us stay hidden. From who? The feds. Apparently, the government doesn't appreciate its citizens living off the grid. I mean, you're just off road racing. Back in Ventura Bay. We almost didn't make it. As soon as we got here, we started staging races to help keep our skills sharp. 
Never know when you're gonna need to drop everything and haul ass. What do you need? Well, that's why you got a truck. <laughs> Only way you get better is by racing the best. And we need to be better. Show me your talents are reliable, and we can talk payment. Oh, she's gonna give me some money? What you gonna give me? Oh, I know what you're gonna give me. I already kind of know. We spoke about it in yesterday's video. <laughs> Not exactly sure that I'm very happy we about can't. it, but... Oh. Where's here? This house? We've got a new member oh my god, look today. how lifted that is! I told them to give you all hell. I'm hoping you return the favor. Do you see how lifted that Merc was? Look at it! Oh, we didn't even put off-road tires on. We could have put visual off-road tires on. Before the next race, we're going to do that. If I don't do it, I'm going to cry. Look how lifted all these cars are. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it so much. But this ain't even an off-road race. I thought this was supposed to be off-road. Oh, wait. I, yeah, okay. You kind of teased me a little bit with the on-road stuff. But you know what? I... I I'm not exactly sure this is the best idea for an off-road car. I am way above the recommended level, so that's probably in my favor. Not, it makes it much easier. I don't think it's going to be a problem, baby. I think we're going to smash it. I do not know how many off-road events and stuff there are as well. Oh my god, it's sliding. I didn't even realize it was just deciding to slide without me paying attention. I should also probably have upgraded me NOS. See who's out front. That's who we gotta beat. That's me. Can't exactly beat myself, or oh, can I? I didn't even know there was a beach over here. Not over yet. Keep pushing. There were many. There's many beaches. I think the main beach is obviously in the city, which I also haven't been on. This is genuinely the first time I tried the off-roading, and I can say straight away, driving a car that's definitely not made to, to do this, the off-road is so much better than it was I in the like previous the games. In the previous game, the, I say the previous games. The previous game, the last time. I'm going to be honest, Payback's drift handling was, I mean, off-road handling was a little bit odd. I had some issues with it. It just didn't, it just seemed to be a bit all over the place, but this is definitely much more controllable. It still doesn't feel massively cool. I'm not going to lose it. You're already like, you're like a million miles behind. Yeah, my car's overpowered for this event. It don't matter. You should, <laughs> you should level to my level. Get on my level. No, it's... It still feels weird to be trying to off-road in Need for Speed game, but I'm grateful that I can build a, uh, a hypercar to, to be an absolute... Over can you get over how wide this thing is? <laughs> it's a finish! Let's give it the beans! And across the line, I deserve some off-road tires. Yeah. Just what I wanted. Exposed you. What do you even mean? I beat you, yes. Exposed you? I, I really... Wait, there was a level 306? I thought the recommended level was like 200 and something. They're trying to beat me up in here. After that, I think we can talk. The showdown has a consignment of high-end modifications being shipped into the city. They don't know it yet, but they're never getting them. Race with us again and do what you did out here. And one of those parts is yours. Deal. I'll hit you up when we're ready. This woman is some, like, underground soldier type thing. Remember underground soldier? He was cool. But he was the blackest man I ever seen in my whole damn life. <laughs> Can I say that on YouTube anymore? Whatever. Let's do a quick screw screw. Hey, officer. He beeps back at me. Did you see that? I'm surprised he didn't chase me. See, my car's so filthy. And now it's perfect. Frustrate frustratingly filthy. I wish I want to turn off damage. To be honest, I would turn off damage if I could. That's my type of play, you know? Right. As we said, visuals to the tires. We need to change these tires because we now have the ability to change to actual off-road tires, which makes makes building these cars much, much better. Do we have some proper off-road tires? Though? Is all, are all tires available for all cars? Oh, yes. We got some off-road tires. There you go. Number 24, Speed Hunters Off-Road Tires. I've never heard of that concept in my life. The Speed Hunters do off-road stuff, like rally stuff. Can't quite tell you if they do or don't. Right, there you go. Off-road tires, much better. Do I want to play with it a little bit more? I think I want to change. Let's try putting on the rally differential, because that makes it a little bit more or less slidey, so that might help. But yes, now we must continue. She's going to call me while I'm driving on my way to her event. on some nice upgrades. 
scum race, and one of them could be yours. Okay. What is she going to give me? Something I already have? Probably. But I ain't going to complain. More parts is good. Who doesn't like more parts? Especially in my dutty, dutty Porsche that is now even duttier than before. Let's have a see how she does off-road. No, that's not what I meant it to do, but I'll take it. First experience off-road. It's about the same. <laughs> dutty, dutty. No prizes for showing up. You gotta win. See, okay. Look at that golf. That's amazing. I beat the game in a stock Ferrari. I have to make up for it. We're gonna beat the off-road in a stupidly lifted 918 hypercar. <laughs> That's gonna launch like a god. Goodbye, Evo. I still haven't be built an Evo. I've got so many cars I need to build. I need to get so much money. Tonight, I'm gonna tell you, I am grinding. I am grinding, grinding, and I am not going to stop. Next video, you're gonna see me. I'm gonna have like 20 million. That's going to be me, 20 mil my G. <laughs> but straight away, I feel like it's less slidey. A bit more of a controllable slide. I still feel that I'm at a disadvantage compared to the others. They're keeping up pretty well because of the fact that they already level 240. I'm like 100 levels above them. And this thing's still only just pulling away off-road. I'm interested to see how a Raptor would perform off-road on an actual, actual off-road car. Like a Subaru or an Evor. Something. Even a Skyline would probably do pretty good off-road. Should I just build a Skyline for every type of thing? For a Drift Skyline, a Drag Skyline, a Race Skyline? A... Yes. I think that sounds like a brilliant idea. That would be my ultimate garage. A blue Skyline for every situation. Tarmac! Yes, I love me some tarmac, babe. Oh. Well, it gets me up to speed. It's like a boost pad on Mario. <laughs> Bit of tarmac. Don't mind if I do. Now we're in the river. And now we're not in the river. The only car that I really want to build, a hypercar anyway, is the Bugatti. You know me. I would love a Bugatti off-road build. Setting the standard once again. That's why you're here. That's why you call me up, baby. When you're like, damn, maybe give me some test, give me some driving skills. That's what I need. I will give you the skills you need. But I want to build an off road Bugatti and Need for Speed. I think it would be better than TDU2, better than Forza. But unfortunately, there's no Bugatti in this game. As of yet, hopefully in the future, we could see Bugatti come into the game. So I can engine swap everything to have a Bugatti engine. I think that would be awesome. Oh, she's back. She's back the for more. I'm waiting for you at the garage. Oh, nice. Got any more I can take off your hands? Not right now. I'm going off comms. What? Getting word someone's looking for us. We're going to ease off just for a little while. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, you're not. So that's going to be the end of the off-road missions. I don't think so, though, because we have beaten the game. I think we're supposed to get to this point and then boom, next. We got off-road suspension pro. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Have we got any more missions for you right now? Or do we need to, like, do something else? Let's go back to the garage anyway. I also, quick little thing. I don't know if you knew, but I've been doing a race on this on this route. I think it actually... Yeah, I think it's this race right here. For those that didn't know, this bridge is freaking... Oh. No, that's not going well. You can climb this bridge. And you can do it at speed, too. <laughs> This is the best bridge ever, and this would make perfect for some burnout style challenges online. They need to get doing it. I'm actually going to go show you now. Demonstrate full speed, baby. I say full speed. We're doing about 100. 100 mile an hour in my Porsche. That's not bad. Oh! oh, she's back. <laughs> well, that didn't take long, did it? Hey, baby, I'm just literally around the corner. I set something up that's a little different. Okay. Figured we'd pick up where we left off. I'll Literally about two seconds you. ago. But you're supposed to do this at the, like, the same time as the second deck set of missions. Yeah, I know. I messed it up. I, I was designed. Say. Nice job getting in the league. And kicking oh. Mercer's ass. Let's hope we don't kick yours right now. Oh, this is supposed to be after the game. Okay, well, there you go. This is after the game. <laughs> the main progression line. But it still works. It still makes stop. sense. What the hell is this man in a thumper? Get the hell out of my way, you big boy. So we're now only about 10 levels over the recommended. So I'm interested to see how the 918 does. But again, it looks like there isn't much actual off-road course because we're taking they're taking us 
cross it's not a cross country but it's a, a mixed terrain style and there's a beautiful blue boy right ahead of me see that would be my go-to off-road car but mate i wanted to do something a little bit different okay this is a cool location come on nacho i'm gonna make you some nacho dust yes like you know when the nachos like crumble that's what you're gonna be that's what's gonna be left of you big sire with your big off-road automobile corner cut taken damn it's game over for you Maybe oh this a sprint was a bad idea. why why making it a sprint that's a, a love sprint sprints are the best type how about we actually do some try to do some that's the wrong way I, I always press the wrong way do some live tuning what do you even live tune on an off-road car well let's bring down the serious sensitivity a little bit let's put it back to normal downforce I guess less. Less traction, the better. <laughs> oh, no, no. Honestly, I've not been to half these areas. I wish the map had a, like, discover map kind of thing. Where it showed you where you've been and where you haven't. Kind of like the old uh, GTA games, I guess. Did GTA do it? It's not over yet. No, it didn't. I don't think it did. Basically, have the map discolored. Like, the crew discolored and then all of a sudden go color when i've driven in that area that would be super super cool and it will show me where i need to actually support this is the quarry we're here literally in yesterday's video as well it's actually a really fun area and you this is definitely just me. I, you are literally last place you have no right to speak about the position my position in this damn race <gasps> i'm sorry it's off road we get to do jumps yeah mumba's the all right <laughs> There's the finish. Oh, we missed that jump. What a wasted jump. What a wasted opportunity of a brilliant jump. You're winning all the time. That means we've got more to learn. Exactly. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm supposed to be... I'm a street racer. You are the off-road people. For some reason, all off-road people seem to be hackers or something. I really don't quite get that myself. For you, I've got some work to do. Oh. I like it up here. If I put something together, you interested? Always. Depends. What's the offer? Funny you should ask. Another consignment's about to go missing. More parts. Cars. I'll let you know when it's on. Thank you, baby. I, will, I appreciate that very much. And I know exactly what car it is. But we got to push through with this off-roadness. Ah. Oh. It looks so good still. Even though it's muddy, it, it looks perfect. That's what you need. I would love to have a green camo. Ah, oh, maybe that's something we'll do. Actually, is there another event on the map for her right now? Because if not, I will go and do the camo. Now, I'm going to do me camo. <laughs> this, uh, is there camo stickers? Pants ever done a decal on a video? I don't think so. I mean, he has. Uh, what decals do we have? Surely we have some... Just basic camo ones. I don't even know where to begin to look. So, this may take a while. How about I just do a magic trick, huh? And she is finished. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's perfect. Perfect for me. Now, just to give you an idea, this, this wrap. The decal they use is this one right here. And then just kind of change the transparency a little bit. But overall, basic, pretty much. Bang, assorted, done. Right, we should now hopefully have the final... Hopefully the final off-roading event to do where is she aha perfect she is ready to go where is she she's up oh she's actually up in the quarry yeah baby what's up oh oh new set of wheels she's promising the prizes to be had in the panther store <laughs> uh, off-roading 918 sponsored by my own store yes they they funded a lot of this project has to be built before next SEMA, and we're way ahead of schedule. <laughs> no, right, let's get this event popping. We're still about 10 points above the recommended level, so it seems like you don't really need to upgrade your hypercar if you do hypercar off-roading. I say that now. Pass up this opportunity. You, off you offered me a free car. Only one way to find out. You've been losing every event so far, my love. Now, this car sponsored by Panther Storm, obviously. But <laughs> I, we may find out this race. This is the final of the progressional-based off-road events. Don't start now. If, uh, if, if it's being 10 over, it's not so great. Again, we're not really in a car that's built for this, but we're still going to smash it. Oh, look. You can use 
any car to do anything in Need for Speed, baby. Now, if only there were some drag story. I don't know where the drag story is. You got your drag tires, but where's your drag story? Huh? Devastation. At least this time she's not last place. You really want <laughs> that car, huh? Well, I'm... Uh, uh, yes! Well, it's one of the only cars I have left to collect. I've been grinding through, you know? We've been to the garage and we still forgot to put the better NOS on it. I say we as if we collectively forgot. Don't lie, you know full well that you were too poo focused on this livery too. You know full well it's not just me, okay? You can't just blame me for this. This is a joint effort. You're supposed to tell me every time. I know. Tweet me. Tweet me when I've... When, when, random point in the day. Just tweet me and say, Theo, look, you need to put, you need to do this thing. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. Thanks. I was, I was recording. I totally, <laughs> totally forgot that I should be doing that. So, how do I feel about the off-roading? Now that we've done most of the story-based missions and we smashed every single one of them in a hypercar. We already know. I didn't. What on earth did she took? You're going to die! <laughs> I'm sorry, please move. Please, get out of my way. I like that I can use any car now. There's no restriction based on what they think I should be using, which is great because there's a lot more cars I want to use that they didn't let me. It lets you have more fun. It lets you play around with stupid things like this 918. It's much better than it was in Payback. Don't get me wrong, but... I can't help but feel it's a little bit strange. It doesn't really fit very well, in my opinion. I think, if anything, drag racing should have had the priority opposed to off-roading. To me, that makes more sense. Right? Does anyone else feel that? Great race. Looks like those wheels are yours. And thank you very much. That's what I was looking forward to hearing. That was a very poopy time but we got 53,000 for the off-roading damn that does mean though we are now going to unlock basically every single there was a 400 plus in this race don't you dare tell me that this is this is rubber banded because those this man should have beat me the cars with rivera hope you like it oh you're not even Always gonna like nice going back to give a me surprise. a special i know you won but seeing how we raced out there today i think we'll hold our own feds don't stand a chance if we ever need a refresher, I know where to come. In the meantime, keep giving those cops hell. They deserve it. Why you gotta drive off all cool like, man? You just dirted my whip. Pretending that we just took it off-road ourselves completely, yes. Uh, right, that does mean now we have a brand new car in the garage. Off the grid, you mean off the, I guess, grid road. Uh, let's jump back to the garage. Every time I come into the garage... Oh... I thought you were going to be the Ferrari, and I was going to complain, but now I want to complain even more. Right, swap cars. We need... No, 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 no. This is not... What you need to do with this car, because just so you know, they added the, the M3, the 350, Eddie Skyline. Classic, iconic cars. And for off-road, we get this. What happened to Max cars? Max, big truck of Rav's... Boogie, those were so much better. We spoke about this on Twitter the other day, but I'm actually going to swap out this car because there is a very particular thing I need to do because this car does not deserve to be anywhere near any of the other cars. Now, don't get me wrong. I love myself a Ford Raptor. And this Ford Raptor, on the other hand, I think it is actually horrendous. What on earth? Are you joking? Nah. No, 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 no. This is, this is, go wait, does it have a big F on the back? It does have a big F on the back. F for failure. What on earth? Get out of my shop. How dare you? How dare, is that bucket inside my Evo's tire? What is going on here? Need for Speed has gone crazy. No, we're going to build our own off-road icon car. We're going to have to get to that though. All right, be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video which will probably be Need for Speed Heat. Surprise, surprise. Peace.